Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add a value to an array in Java. So here I have an int array with the integers 1, 2, 3 and 4. And I'm going to make a method add to array that will return a new array, which is this array, my array, with a value added. So I'm going to add 5 onto the end of the array. And then for each value in the array, I'm going to output the value. So at the moment the add to array isn't doing anything it's just returning this array so when I run this I just get one two three four now there's two ways we can do it uh, so I'll go through each way in turn so the first way is to make a new array and um, with the dimension of the last array plus one so if I say int array new array equals new int array and it needs to be the length of the old array plus one so I'm creating a, a new array and then for each value in the old array so I can say for int i equals zero i is less than array dot length i plus plus so for each value in the old array, new array, i equals array i. So I'm going to copy the old array into the new array. And then finally, the last value, new array. I can get to the last value by saying the length minus 1 equals value and return new array. So that's the simplest method and when we run we get one, two, three, four, five. So this add to array value has copied the array over. So that's the simplest method but probably not the best method. Okay so a better way of doing it would be to use an array list which has a method to add something to an array. So first I'm going to convert my list to use the integer object instead of the primitive type. And then I should be able to say list integer my array list equals new array list of integer by taking by using the, the static method arrays as list my array so now I've converted this um, array of integers into an array list of integer and now because it's so simple I'm not even going to use another method I'm just going to say my array list add 5. Uh, if I wanted to convert it back to a, a my array I could say my array equals my array list to array so this has exactly the same effect as before we're adding one two three four five but we've also got some other interesting things we could do with the array list like we could add our value at a specific index and we can remove values and do all sort of things all sorts of things so it's uh, better to use an array list so uh, that's how to add a value to an array so thanks for watching